Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. In today's session, we are going to learn how we can extract the custom user profile properties using Power Automate. And why I'm specifically saying custom properties because if we are going to use the default to get user profile action into our Power Automate, we are not going to get the custom properties. So those custom properties has to be fetched in a different way and so that it can be in turn used. So I can just uh, give you one example. So I have just actually went to my this uh, SharePoint admin part and I have opened the my user profile property. So this is my user profile and I got all this stuff but there is one property which is employee ID which is custom and has been synced via the uh, on-premise AD to this user profile property. This is my local employee ID. So if you are going to use the default SharePoint, uh, default uh, get user profile action into Power Automate, you are only going to get the default uh, property for your user profile. For example, first name, last name, work, department, title, manager, and these uh, these, these default fields only, not the custom ones. So how to fetch the custom ones? So I'll just tell you. Let me just create one instant cloud flow, and for this I'll be choosing the trigger as manual trigger though you can have one SharePoint list where somebody is inputting data or data into the SharePoint list item and based on that you would like to fetch the current employee ID of that person then that's a very valid scenario so that you can do but right now I'm just doing a manual trigger just to showcase demo this stuff so firstly I am going to use that a default get user profile so that I can show you what uh, actual default properties this get user profile gives us. So I'm in this UPN, I'm just giving the user email. And in next step, I'll be showing you how to fetch the custom property. So before that, I'm just running it and just showcase that to you that I'm not getting my custom properties over there in this get user profile action so when I run it so when I expand this action you can see I got account enabled birthday business phone display name given name hire date mail preferred name and all these fields which are of default nature but I'm not getting my this custom property which I just showcased you this employee ID so I need to get that property so now I'll just go back edit my flow and just get rid of this default now I am going to use this send HTTP request to SharePoint and from there I will be using my SharePoint any of the SharePoint site this one and in the URI part I will be constructing one URI so that I can get my this custom property so I can just show you what URI needs to be put so this is the API endpoint is SP user profile get user profile property for I'm going to use this method and I would be passing the account name which is my this variable and the property name I would like to fetch the employee ID so let's just do that over the browser first rather than SharePoint so I'll just go back to my site and just put up this API call append this API call in front of my site address and when I hit enter it should give me this XML and that should have contains the data for my this custom property so you can see I got my data for this employee ID which is 442 and if you would like to change the property name so rather than employee id you would like to just do that for sid so i got my sid as this so it's an internal internal user principle name so that's how you can just simply do that i'm just uh, doing it reverting it back and I'll just go back to my this uh, share uh, this power flow and copy this entire endpoint and put it over here so maybe per your requirement you would like to replace this existing this uh, string with 
the dynamic string for example if you are triggering that from sharepoint so sharepoint will give you that user profile inf uh, user information user email principal and everything so right now i'm triggering it manually so i'm just getting a user email so i'm just using that user email and just point to be remembered that rather than having that i semicolon f so let me just go back to my this site uh, user profile and yeah so the account name is this one so you can see i colon zero ha hash f so this should be encoded while calling from this uh, power automate so i have already encoded this string and just appending up the dynamic user email over there so just keep that in mind <clears throat> and when i just save it and if I run it, I'll get the entire uh, this uh, output. And in later step, I would like to filter or sp uh, extract the output, the employee ID specific uh, specifically. So let me just first showcase you what output I'm getting. So you can see output I'm getting is the G D and that get user profile property for. So I have to extract this 442 out of it. So how to do that? I'm going to use one simple compose action and in this compose action in the input I'll be adding one expression. So I'll just first of all because I would like to extract uh, so I would like to use the body of my previous tab so I'll just enter the body from dynamic content and then copy paste that body and pasting that into notepad so it gives me the output from the my previous tab so i am going to remove this curly braces and remove this curly braces and add the rate from front of it as well so i'm just removing it. right now i just left with this string so now splitting up or getting extracting the data out of that body i have i would be typing d because you can see in my previous tab uh, i got the data from d and the user get user profile property for so i'll just going to use that get user profile property for so now directly now i'm going to get only the exact 442 that employee id rather than just any json so that's a way of reading out the json or exactly like going to the uh, property which actually you want to have so now i'm copy pasting this stuff into my expression and just went to expression added this expression which we just created and clicking ok so now if i save and run it i should be only getting the employee id so i'm running it successfully ran and from the this HTTP action in the compose action I'll just go to the outputs I just only got my employee ID so now for example if you are working that with the SharePoint then you would like to save the extracted employee ID then you can just simply use the update action update item and then update back this item into the employee ID field of any SharePoint list column so that's how you can work with the custom user profile properties so if you want to fetch the default properties, no need to worry, it's a default get user action you can use. But if it's custom property, then you have to go this route. So I hope uh, this could be useful for you. So that's it for today. Thank you.